Hello everybody, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Friday, August 5th, 2011, and this is a Zero News update from the lab on the Euler Motor Project. Um, I have what uh, Hydrotech now calls version 1.0 of his uh, Arduino sketch for the Arduino controller driver circuit. And uh, I want to make the announcement here right now that I will be releasing this version published at altenergy.org um, under the GNU General Public License. So the copyright is owned by me. Hydrotech is my employee, if, if you will, who wrote the software. And I am releasing this version. Uh, it will be version 1.0p for public and uh, it will be released under the GNU GPL, General Public License, for uh, distribution and use and modification and anything that you want to do with it. The reason I'm using the GPL is simply for my protection and for your protection. Uh, we'll go over in a little bit some of the capabilities of the Arduino script and uh, I will show you some of the waveforms that are possible uh, and adjustments that are possible, but right now I want to talk about uh, a couple of changes that I've made to the schematic diagram and I want to go over this a little in a little bit more detail um, right now. So if we take a take a closer look at the schematic diagram you'll notice that I've now added Q5, R8 and R9. So I'm now calling this revision 1.1. If you look in the, on the left-hand side of the schematic diagram, you'll, in the area of Q1 and Q5, you'll see that there are two inputs now, one labeled minus and one labeled plus. Uh, the reason I added Q5 was because I needed a non-inverting input, uh, a, an input that when I applied a source voltage to, it would energize Q3 and Q4 and energize the driver coil. Conversely, if you have a driver circuit that provides a logic low at the timing that you want, you can simply uh, attach that to the negative input lead, which terminates at the collector of Q5. Uh, bringing that terminal to a logic low also energizes Q3 and Q4. So to make this circuit as versatile as possible, I have um, added Q5 with R8 and R9 and the, uh, the parts values are in the far left hand side of the, of the schematic diagram. I hope you find this schematic useful and uh, I will be updating the board layout shortly but uh, this is the working schematic diagram that I'm using right now and it works extremely well. The non-inverting input trigger voltage is uh, just under one volt. So when you, uh, when you have a, a, an input source that provides a little bit more than one volt or the voltage drop from the base to the emitter of Q5, then that, tra that, that transistor conducts and pulls the uh, base of Q1 low and causes the circuit to energize the driver coil. So let's take a look now at the oscilloscope and some of the capabilities of the Mueller motor Arduino driver sketch. Let's start by taking a closer look at the Arduino sketch itself. In this picture, you see the section of the, of the sketch, which is near the top of the sketch. It is opened in the Arduino IDE environment, and it is version 0022 of the Arduino IDE, downloadable from the Arduino uh, website. The first four lines are not grayed out because the comment slashes at the beginning of the line have been removed. Uh, and these first four lines remain uncommented at all times. The first two lines of that are the dwell percentage for the stream 1 and 2 and the delay percentage for stream 1 and 2 are the second two lines. Uh, it then says end of user controls and below that we have some additional commented sections. Uh, define debug, debug analog only, and variable high. Uh, if you'll notice the annotations to the right, they are pretty much self-explanatory. The next four lines down we have define read analog delay 1, define read analog delay 2, 
uh, dwell one and dwell two. These are the four lines that you would uncomment if you wish to adjust your delay and dwell using potentiometers. The uh, schematic diagram will be shown at altenergy.org. They are simply 1k ohm potentiometers uh, between the 5 volt power supply rail and ground and the wiper attaches to analog inputs 0 through 3 respectively. So analog delay 1 connects to analog input 0 and so on. Uh, I have not personally done too, too much experimentation with that. I find that it is a little bit sensitive to noise and uh, causes a little bit of jitter on the output. So I'm leaving these commented out for the time being. Uh, define max miss pulses. This is, an, this is an error checking routine that should be left intact. Uh, define reset on miss pulses. I have not played with that. Experimental pulse level inversion section. This is, uh, this is the uh, simple logic inversion of the output. That's the basic description of the user adjustable controls within the software. Uh, I am actually able to have the motor running, make changes to the, the various parameters in the sketch, upload it to the Arduino while the motor is running, the, uh, the, the Arduino will, will perform a reset and pick up again with the new parameters. So it's almost not even necessary to have the potentiometers because essentially I can still make adjustments on the fly. There's just a brief delay period while the Arduino is rebooting, which is only a couple of seconds. So let's look at the scope. Uh, the default settings of 50% dwell and zero delay on the signal pretty much uh, mirror what I was doing with the uh, with the Hall Effect pickup devices without the Arduino. So what you're going to see on the scope first is a uh, imitation through the Arduino of what I had without the Arduino. I'm going to turn my power supply on. Start the motor going. We're running at about seven volts right now. And you can see I'll show you my, my zero reference point, which is right in the center of the display. You can see how my, my trigger, trigger point is just as it crosses zero and gives me a pulse to the driver coil to about this point right here. And then the remainder of the waveform is the uh, actual voltage being generated by the driver coil while it is not being energized. This is the benefit of having the floating driver circuit or the active driver circuit output for the driver board. What I will do now is I'm going to take my dwell and I'm just going to make a change to the dwell setting. Uh, this was 50%. I'm going to change the dwell to 30%. I'll upload to the Arduino. I'm getting a message that it's uploading to the Arduino board. You see that the driver trigger stops. And now you can see that I have a shortened pulse duration, or a sh it's a smaller percentage of the total full cycle. And I'm also monitoring the uh, amount of current that's being drawn and how efficiently the motor is running each time that I make a change like this. Now without making any changes to the dwell I'm going to change the delay so my my driver duration will be still 30 percent and I will shift it further down the waveform closer to the peak. So I'll bring my dwell to 20 percent Upload that to the Arduino board.
Now you can see I've shifted the pulse so that it ends where it ended before. It starts much later in the, in the, uh, in the waveform after it crosses zero. And it's only drawing right now about 300 milliamps. So this is a very efficient place to run the motor and gives you uh, a very low current draw. Now I'm still running at 7 volts, so I'll increase the input voltage to the driver coils. And there's what happens when I do that. Okay, next I'm going to show you what happens when you just do a simple inversion on the uh, experimental pulse level inversion section. I've commented out, or I've removed the comments from the invert output one and invert output two. I will upload that to the board. And now you're going to see it break heavily and perhaps even start in the other direction. So my current has shot up to about 10 amps and now the motor is going in the wrong direction, drawing a lot of current because it, the timing is all wrong. But So I'm going to just shut the power supply off at that point because I don't want to uh, overheat my, my MOSFETs um, and uh, start at square one again. So that's it for the update on the Arduino driver sketch version 1.0. Uh, again, it will be available at altenergy.org. I hope you will go there and download a copy of it for yourself and uh, get building one of these and start playing with it too. Uh, a couple of you have asked how my garden is doing. I appreciate, uh, appreciate the concern. Here's a couple of photos of some of the, uh, some of the vegetables that I've been picking. Uh, we've been picking kale for quite some time. The string beans are starting to come out uh, and these cucumbers and tomatoes are fabulous. Still waiting on the peppers and my first eggplant is about the size of an egg. So, um, the, the, and they are maturing very rapidly. So the, uh, the garden is doing extremely well. The, uh, the marigolds seem to have held the vine borers at bay for the time being on my squash plants and the, uh, the zucchini squash, which is the most prone to vine borer insect damage, seems to, uh, seems to be doing very well. So I'm pleased with that, with that as well. That's all for now. I hope, I hope you are well. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you have not. Please tell your friends about the channel. We're having some fun here. I'm really enjoying the, the Mueller Motor Project, and I'm glad that you're following along. Peace, everyone.